Hey, Stampede fans, Jim Olander here at the Premier Center with another Stampede Weekly Update. A couple of big wins here at the Premier Center to get the nine-game homestand kicked off on the right foot. On Saturday night, the Stampede defeated the Fargo Force 3-2 to in a shootout in their first shootout victory in nearly two years as the Stampede were victorious in three rounds over the Fargo Force. And then on Sunday, the Stampede back in a shootout against the Sioux City Musketeers. They topped the Musketeers in a five-round shootout, win the game 4-3 to on Sunday. Kiefer Bellows had two goals in the game as well as a goal in the shootout. He takes us through his last goal and then the goal in the shootout. Yeah, it was a great pass by Clint Lewis. Uh, I was playing my wing on near the bench and he just made a great pass, caught the D flat-footed and uh, took it to the net. Lucky enough, it just went in. Uh, how about the uh, shootout goal? Obviously, uh, a little bit of pressure in that situation. It's do or die. You need to score to keep it going. What was going through your mind as you took that shot? Um, you know, I was just, it was, yeah, it was a little nerve wracking, you know, the, it's my first ever shootout in the USHL, but, you know, I knew what I was doing and it was just kind of put some confidence in my mind, you know, the coaches were behind me, the team was behind me, I knew I had their support and it, with that, you know, anything's possible. The games on Saturday and Sunday kicked off a nine-game homestand for the Stampede, and head coach Kerry Eade says it was important for the herd to get a couple of wins and some momentum as they move forward into this week's games. Well, it was really important, Jimmy, to start the homestand on a real good start. Uh, you know, the first game, obviously, against Fargo was a good battle. I thought we played really well. And the win in a shootout was important. I thought the shootout win carried over to last night's victory against Sioux City. And to win and get four points out of those two games, you know, really starts a nine-game homestand on a good start. The shootout victory on Saturday was the first since March of 2013 for the Stampede, and Coach Eads believes getting that win helped the Herd in their comeback shootout win on Sunday versus Sioux City. You know, I thought that uh, in those do-and-die situations, the, the win the night before and the shootout, the confidence that was carried forward out of that was very positive. So, you know, uh, shootout wins are important. It's another point in the bank. You know, it's a two-point swing. You know, from Fargo and Sioux City, either they're going to get one more point, we're going to get one less. So it does uh, bode importantly in the standings because of how tight everything is, and it was nice to get those wins. Stampede forward Dakota Joshua returned to the Stampede lineup for the first time since helping Team USA to a gold medal at the World Junior A Challenge, and he says the last two games were two of the most memorable in his Stampede career. Yes, for sure. Starting Friday, it was my first ever shootout victory uh, as a part of the Stampede. And then to follow it up Saturday against our rival, Sioux City, was something special. And the, the Denny was really rocking, so it felt great. The Herd returned to action this Wednesday and Friday with a two-game series against Tri-City. And Bellows says the Herd know they are in for a battle. Uh, I think our team's expecting a rough, physical really skilled team that's going to come after us hard you know we're going to come we're also going to come back hard our nice physical stampede hockey where we compete every single shift coach Eads agrees and says from top to bottom the storm are a solid team and the herd will need to be ready for them come puck drop yeah the storm have a really good hockey team first of all starts from the top down with their coach jim halton has done a great job you know building a team uh, believing in the players and and they're playing very well uh, had they won last night, uh, they lost in a shootout, they would have been in first place. So uh, they're a really good team. We know that. They've got depth up and down that roster. Chris Wilkie is a fantastic hockey player. He scored 15 goals. He's their leading scorer. So we've got a lot of guys we've got to pay attention to. The Stampede are back home here at the Premier Center on Wednesday, a special New Year's Eve tilt 6.05 against the Tri-City Storm, and should be a fun night. It's the Furniture Mart night. Fans can register in the main concourse, and four lucky winners will win a $100 gift card from the Furniture Mart. Then you'll go onto the ice right behind me and shoot for the loot. We'll have a chance to win a $1,000 shopping spree thanks to the Furniture Mart. Also, make sure to bring your skates and take part in the post-game skating party right after the game. That'll take place for 30 minutes following the the contest on Wednesday against Tri-City. And then also don't forget about our family four-pack, which gets you for 40 bucks, four tickets to the game, four hot dog baskets, four sodas, and a large popcorn. This Kello FM family four-pack, and it's only good for this final New Year's Eve game, the last game of 2014. So make sure you go to the Stampede office or visit our website, sfstampede.com, for details. Heard also home on Friday against Tri-City at 7.05 here at the Premier Center. So make sure you get your tickets in advance. They're available at the Kelloland box office or any Ticketmaster outlet. Catch highlights of the last two games and all the other fun stuff going on with the Stampede by following us on Facebook and Twitter at SF Stampede. That'll do it for this week. We'll see you again next week.